Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Michael Hayes. In this series of videos, we're helping you guys prepare for the EC6 Subject Core Exam as you prepare to become a Texas educator. In the series right now, we're focusing on science, and more specifically in this episode, we're focusing on life cycles coming up next. Okay, if this is the first episode you've seen this series and like to check out my past or future episodes, you can click on this YouTube card here in the corner. That will take you to my playlist. That playlist will have all the episodes in the order they were taught and by topic, so you can drill down to what is most important to you. Now, if the viewer or browser you're watching this video on doesn't support YouTube cards, you can check the description below. I will have a link there as well. I will also have additional resources such as the Big Yellow Book. I highly recommend this in most of my videos. I don't have any connection at all with the author or publisher, however, uh, prior to producing these videos, I found that this uh, Big Yellow Book is uh, one that is used by a lot of people that have passed the exam, and I actually use it a lot myself in guiding the direction of my videos. So check those details out in the description below. Now, um, I want to do a quick shout out to an individual that uh, commented on my past video, and uh, out there, um, Pink Glitter Thug. I love the YouTube name that you have for yourself. I appreciate your comment. Love your name uh, out there. Um, just the details that you provided me and how you're watching my videos just made me laugh. I am super excited that I'm helping you out. You mentioned in the very end that I saved your life. I don't know if I go that far, but I do appreciate the fact that you acknowledge that these videos are helping you. And by all certain means, I hope you do extremely well, especially on science, because that's where I've really hit on. Now, for the rest of you guys, if uh, you're looking for more content from me, I've only got about uh, three more episodes of science, then we're going to move on to math. So that's coming up pretty soon. Um, and so that also goes to say, if you guys are enjoying these videos up to now, or maybe this is the first time you've watched the video and you're liking what you're seeing so far, uh, give me a thumbs up, show me that you like the videos, it really helps to encourage me. And also, uh, you can leave a comment, of course, and maybe I'll shout out in the next video to you. But also remember to subscribe and hit that notification bell, and that will alert you to upcoming videos. And if you are currently in school and you are pursuing a degree in education, and you have uh, friends in your classes and professors you'd like to share my videos with, please feel free to get my name out there. I would really appreciate uh, getting as much of this out there as I can as I'm really working hard to help you guys in education. I'm an educator myself. I know what it takes to get here, and I really want to see you guys being successful. So uh, please feel free to share these as you, as you wish. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. We're going to put five minutes on the clock. We're going to be talking about life cycles today. So uh, five minutes in, let's talk about life cycle in general. So life cycle is just a term we use to uh, describe the development of an organism from birth to death. And we're going to look primarily at three organisms, plants, uh, we're also going to look at insects, and we're going to look at frogs. Now, if we take humans, for example, our life cycle starts from birth and goes to death, and we start off as infants, and then we uh, mature into um, toddlers, I guess you would say, then adolescents and teenagers, then adults, then aging adults or older adults, and of course death and reproduction starts the process all over again. And so um, let's take a look specifically at the other three items because they're more likely going to show up on your exam. So plants, for instance, have four phases. The first phase is the uh, seed stage, which the seed is the result of a parent plant uh, providing that seed either through fruit, uh, a vegetable, or uh, bearing uh, flowers. And so it is going to have everything it needs for that seed to grow into a mature plant. It's going to have the embryonic portion of the plant, which is within the seed. It's going to have the endosperm, which is also called the seed leaves as it starts to develop. And then it also has the seed coat. And of course, uh, parts of that embryonic plant would be like the, uh, the, uh, the root, the embryonic root and so on. But really, we're talking about elementary. We're not going to get too deep into it. But essentially, uh, it's going to stay in that dormant seed stage uh, in this in, for first phase until the right temperature and enough moisture softens the seed coat. Then it's going to go into phase two, which is germination. So now the embryonic seed is going to allow its root to grow downward with gravity. The upper part of that root stem is going to grow up to be the stem and uh, branch of that uh, plant. And that's going to grow against gravity. And those, um, the cotyledon or endosperm, also called the seed leaves, are going to provide the nutrients for that young developing plant because it, can, it can't do photosynthesis yet. So it helps to allow that plant to survive as it takes in water through the roots and uh, gets nutrients from those seed leaves, okay? Once it breaks the soil, then it becomes a seedling. That is phase three. And now the small little leaves are gonna start to develop and it's gonna still rely on those endosperms, uh, cotyledons, um, seed leaves for its nutrients. And then eventually it turns into a mature plant where the leaves are fully grown. It's uh, growing uh, more slowly and developing more maturity 
and it's going to develop its own flowers, it's going to have its own fruit or vegetables, whatever the plant happens to be, in which case it's in the cycle or it continues to live in that mature stage until it dies. Okay, so that's pretty much the plant cycle. Let's look at insects life cycle. We have two different stages there or two different types. We have incomplete and complete uh, metamorphosis. Let's look at incomplete first. We're going to talk about like grasshoppers and praying menaces and other insects that look like miniature versions of themselves when they're babies. And so it starts off with the egg. So a, a female will lay these eggs usually in clusters. And then uh, the nymph stage is going to be the smaller uh, hatching out. They look very much like their parents. They generally don't have developed wings yet. And then they turn, or they go through a molting stage where their exoskeletons uh, molt and they shed those off several times, uh, five up to eight times probably until they're an adult. And then their adult stage, their endoskeletons are intact. They don't shed those any longer and they produce eggs of their own uh, through re reproduction. And so then we go into the complete metamorphosis. This is like your butterflies, your moss, your, your beetles. And so they're going to start off again with eggs that the female lays. And then it's going to go into a larva stage. We typically know these as caterpillars. They look nothing like the adults they're going to become. And then they go into the pupa stage when they create a chrysalis or a cocoon in which they maintain uh, themselves. They grow. They don't eat during this phase. They're kind of wrapped up in their silk cocoons or whatever they make them out of. And then as they develop out, they turn into the adults that they become. And they pump blood into their wings or uh, fluid into their wings to spread those out. They dry in the air and they fly off. They reproduce and lay up eggs of their own. That's your life cycle. Okay, and then we have frogs. And frogs, of course, are going to lay their eggs in water. Uh, it's usually going to be the mouth of a stream or creek or even a pond um, where they can develop. And then those uh, young tadpoles inside will hatch out and they will be, uh, they will have gills where they breathe oxygen out of the water. They'll also have tails. As they start to mature, they'll turn into older tadpoles, which start to develop the, uh, the legs as well as some lungs. And uh, the tail starts to shorten. And then eventually they turn into the adult frogs that they become where they are fully developed uh, lungs. They no longer use their gills. The gills have pretty much disappeared by that time. And they are usually land uh, dwelling. You know, there are water frogs as well that will be in the water most of the time. They are amphibians. They can live in and out of the water. But they are going to be receiving their oxygen from the air rather than the water itself. And then, of course, they will go through breeding and develop new eggs. And the process starts all over again. So let's check out our time real quickly. We have no time left at all. So let's go ahead and do a quick wrap-up. Uh, remember, plants have four phases in their life cycle. They're going to start off with the seed and then they will turn into, uh, they will germinate and then that's phase two and then of course we have the seedling in phase three and then of course the adult plant in phase four. And then of course back to insects we have incomplete and complete uh, metamorphosis. Incomplete will uh, be the egg stage, then the nymph, then the adult stage. The complete metamorphosis again goes through the egg, the larva, then the pupa, and then the adult and then back to frogs once again we have the um, egg stage then the young tadpole, old tadpole, then adult frog. All right, wow, we did, we did it. We cut it right at five minutes. So thank you again for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe and uh, share this with your friends. Don't forget to hit that notification bell to alert you of new videos that are coming out. And again, we're going to hit math here in just a few weeks. So hope to see you then on that. And thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time on Mr. Hayes' YouTube channel.